Hey guys, I'm Rick. And Matt Irene at TechSpin. And we're really happy to announce that Sadie's has sponsored us again. The box arrived during filming the monitor reviews. Thanks for your patience, guys. Those are really cool looking headphones. Yeah, they're the Spellon 7.1 gaming headphones. And we got a gaming keyboard too. That's right, the Damascus is Sadie's top of the line model, and that's what we're gonna check out today. We also got some bowler hats, some t shirts, and these cans which have keychains inside. The keychain fobs double as Taiwan Easy Cards, which we use for the subway, buses, 7 Eleven, and more. That's really awesome. Thanks, guys. Hi, Rick. We actually needed an extra keyboard for our live show, so this is some really great timing. Yes, that's true. But before we assign it a spot, let's give this keyboard a proper review. And see if you should spend your hard-earned money on it. At TechSpin, we're committed to bringing you honest testing and our opinions in our reviews. That's right. So let's see if the Damascus strike a blow or needs to go back to the blacksmith on today's review. The Sadie's Damascus Gaming Keyboard is their top-the-line model, which retails in Taiwan for 3,990 NT, or about $136 US. This mechanical keyboard has full anti-ghosting with selectable 104-key N-key rollover or a 6-key non-conflict mode. The unit is finished in a high-quality brushed aluminum surface and 10 different RGB modes, which can be active or stopped, and a programmable mode you can save three keyboard profiles. There's also a front light bar to illuminate your desk. When you order, you select your type of mechanical keys. Other options are kale browns, which are tactile, reds are light and linear, and blacks that are stiffer. Our review unit has kale blues, a tactile and clicky switch. Keyboardco.com has a good article comparing kale and Cherry MX switches. Basically, they're legal clones, with reds requiring slightly more force, blues just slightly less, and browns just subtly more tactile as tested by Input Club. The typing experience is very similar. Let's see what's inside. We slide out the interior to find a nicely finished black box. Removing the clear plastic keyguard reveals the Damascus. It's got a good weight to it and definitely won't jump around on your desk. Inside is the driver CD, and you can also download the driver from the Sadie's product page. The instruction manual goes over how to control the RGB and lighting effects by function key and also the software control. The braided cable is well manufactured with a nice texture and a cable wrap that only slides when you move it. The cable is listed at 1.6 meters, and indeed, I measured it at 167 centimeters. Nice. A nice design touch at the front bottom for the illumination, and they kept the side of the keyboard simple. The back plastic is sturdy with cable rooting pads, and the rear feet have two options for height. The inside gives a small boost, and the outside is full height. It looks nice coming out the middle, but there's two cable routing paths to choose also. A quick overview of the keyboard before we check out the backlighting. I gotta say this keyboard really impressed me. The surface finish is top notch and typing on the keys feels excellent. And we'll move on to the keyboard's lighting effects. Just look at that brushed aluminum finish. Plugging in the Damascus, it has a really nice startup animation effect and this Sadie's model remembers the last setting you had selected. It has 10 different light effect modes, which Sadie's have named. Go with the stream is first. You can speed up the effects with function right arrow. Here's the trial of light. I speed it up and you'll see the three lights top right flash as it tells me I'm at maximum speed. 
the speed carries over to the next mode. Hurricane starts quickly, and I'll slow it down with a function left arrow or two. The keyboard does flicker once you release the function key. Ripple graph spreads out from the key you press. The effect really changes depending on the speed. Fast, you get a fast wash. Slow, you get ripples on a pond. Swift action makes the colors march towards you. Sped up, you can get a better idea. Pass with trace creates a lit area around the keys you press with a slow fade. At fast speed, At slowest speed, I think this looks really cool. A very smooth slow fade. Fast and Furious spreads out waves from the center. By the way, any flickering you may see is caused by the camera sensor. In person, the effect is super smooth and without flicker. Winding paths goes clockwise around your board. This is set at maximum speed. Let's slow it down a bit. Oh, that's nice. Slower still. The speed really changes the feeling from the effects. Digital Times has a multicolored matrix-like feel to it at slow speed. Cool. The faster speeds are a bit too busy for my taste. <laughs> I've been going up the number keys from one to nine, and finally function plus zero gives us coastal, the game key centered backlights. The default is FPS, however with the restore defaults option in the software, it actually changed to something different, which you'll see later. Last up, function with F12 controls the front of the keyboard white illumination. Here's it on breathing mode. Once more to turn it off. Function down arrow dims the backlight all the way down to off and I'll go up slowly. Function escape key kills the backlight completely. The front bar is independent. A really nice feature is if you hold function and hit print screen, it will freeze the pattern currently shown. I wish more RGB products had this. I'm just trying it out with ripple graph. I can freeze the ripple. Choosing hurricane, you can stop that too. With this mode, choosing one solid color is easy. Hold function and hit 2 for trial of light. Then freeze the color you want. Please take a moment to like this video. And if you like what you see, then please do subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. Opening Chrome, just search for Sadie's Damascus. The page is in Chinese, but Chrome auto translates so it's useful for me living in Taiwan. I'll show you. Go to the top right and I'll set it back to the original. You can click on translate or in options set it to always translate. Click and you've got English. Scroll down and find Windows driver and click to download. Extract the RAR file. Close the window and open the folder with the Damascus driver. Run as administrator. To install, click next, next, wait a bit, then finish. Search for Damascus and select it. In this window, we have three profile and macro tabs at the top. The top right has settings, which also allow you to import and export your settings and select the language, Chinese or English. If you click on light, there's a drop down menu with all 10 different effect options. Almost all have speed options and some have directional changes too. The last one, Coastal, has unique options with four presets for FPS, MMO, MOBA, and RTS. You can customize each. And restore defaults will restore all defaults, so be aware. Selecting the paint tool, you can color individual keys. You can set any effect mode to the three profiles or do three custom profiles, whatever suits your needs. Basic color sets all keys you didn't edit to that color. 
You can click Other to get the full RGB palette. Recording macros isn't hard. There are also options for cycles and record delay. A typing test. Here I just, I just like playing with the effects. <laughs> the Cities Damascus is a really solid keyboard with excellent response and great software and manual control for lighting effects and a software macro editor. A really great package. The Cities Damascus is a great choice for a serious gamer. It's well designed with a really nice typing experience and excellent key feel. There's no keyboard flexing and it's built solidly, really well constructed, with a finish that shows quality. Listed at 3,990 NT, or about 136 US dollars, it stands up to other competitors at this price point and offers better key backlighting than other brands. This earns the Damascus a 10 on the meter. Sadies used their manufacturing experience and built a tool that professional gamers will be happy to use. Speaking of which, I did use it for gaming and really enjoyed the experience. The hardware controls are good and easy to use, and importantly, the settings are saved in the keyboard which we tested by plugging it into various computers without the software driver installed. Excellent, so the Cities Damascus gets a TechSpin Platinum Award and is well earned. Pro and casual gamers and PC enthusiasts will be happy with this keyboard. The software is also easy to use. One point is that you do have to click the light box each time to adjust the settings on each profile but it's one click. We're talking to Sadies to hopefully get that fixed in a future driver update, but it doesn't get in the way of usability. So, Sadies has come up with one of the best feeling, best looking, and coolest lit gaming keyboards you can buy today. It's a good thing this keyboard is so amazing. What do you look for in a gaming keyboard? What's your preference for mechanical keys? Blue, red, or brown? Find a great deal? Let us know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video or tell us how we can improve for next time. To see more videos like this, then please do subscribe for new content and be sure to click that bell icon to get notified when we put up a new video. We always check the comments and we do respond to most. So if you have a question or if we miss something, then please do tell us down below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thank you all very much for watching and see you again really soon. Bye for now.